Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's quickly learn how to create an Ubuntu EC2 instance in AWS Cloud using the new EC2 experience. So click on launch instance. So now look at this uh, new uh, UI, right? So AWS have uh, created a new experience, okay? Uh, so it has completely changed the way you're gonna create EC2 instance. So if you want to opt out to the old experience, you can actually click on this one. Right? So this will take you to the old way of creating EC2 instance. But this video, we are going to talk about how to create EC2 instance using new experience. So I'm going to click on this one back. So this is a new experience. Okay. Let's say you want to create a Ubuntu EC2 instance. So how will you go ahead and then create that Ubuntu EC2 instance? So I want to actually give a name. So let's say I want to uh, create for Jenkins or let's say I want to create for uh, Tomcat, so whatever the name you want to give, you can give name, or let's say you want to just keep it easy to, you can just do easy to. And this is where we have to choose our AMI. Let's say I want to uh, spin up a Ubuntu EC2 instance, so I'm going to select Ubuntu. Let's say I want to use Ubuntu 18.04, so I'm going to go ahead and then select this option, Ubuntu 18.04. So make sure you don't select anything with the SQL Server that is actually a database, so make sure uh, you know, you just select the right one, okay? Not with the SQL Server option. So select Ubuntu.18.04, that is great. Uh, if you want to change uh, the AMI ID, yes, you can, uh, or if you want to change the CPU, so you can change it, but, but I'm going with the default option, perfect. And then if you want to choose the instance type, uh, obviously you can click on all these options, right? So by default, uh, we are eligible for free tier, t2.micro, but this is just one GB RAM. I'm not sure you can do a lot with the one GB RAM. So we have to bump it up. So let me select t2.small. So this comes with one CPU and then two GB RAM. Okay, let me select that one. And then the next step is, you know, it is asking for uh, selecting the key pair, right? So basically, if you want to uh, connect to your EC2 instance uh, in a secure way is, you know, you'll have to create this SSH keys, okay? So, of course, I have a lot of my existing keys. So if I want to uh, choose my existing key, I can go ahead and then select it. But let's say you are creating for the very first time, okay? Let's say you are creating uh, EC2 instance for the very first time, you don't have any key selected. So then you might want to create a new key. So click on this link. So it is asking which key you want to select. So you can probably give some name. So maybe let's say you want to create a key for Jenkins. So you can say my Jenkins EC2 key. Um, I'm going to go with the default option RSA. And then yes, I also want to go ahead with the dot perm. So just leave it like that and then click on create key pair. There you go. You see here now? Now we are successfully able to create the key and then download the keys. Perfect. So now my keys got downloaded. That's fine. So leave it, let it be there. Okay. And then the next step is, yes, we have to select uh, the firewall rule. So by default, if you actually see here, uh, port number 22 is actually open. So when you click on this edit, so there you go. You see here now. So it shows uh, by default port number 22 open. Okay. So let's say if you want to uh, set up Jenkins or if you want to set up Tomcat on your EC2 instance, what we have to do is we have to uh, open additional port numbers. So by clicking add security group role, you would be able to open additional port number. Let's say I want to open a port 8080, then I, you just have to provide the port number over here. Um, and then under source type, let's say you want to uh, control access to this EC2 instance from only your public IP, then you can go with this option. But uh, but I'm actually okay. I'm, I'm going to you know leave it anywhere. So so that, that's fine. I, I know this is kind of a, a kind of a security violations, right? Because you are opening up for all your uh, I mean all IP address. But but it's okay. Okay. So that's it. So we have opened uh, port 22, which is by default. And then we are also opening up additional port number, which is port 8080, that's fine. And then it is asking for the root volume. So how much, uh, you know, storage for the root volume. So I'm going to bump it up. 
I'm going to make it 10. So that's fine, 10 GB. That's perfect. So I think that's pretty much over here. And then this is a good summary over here. So if you want to create one EC2 instance, you leave it one, or if you want to create two, you can go with two EC2 instances, right? Uh, so this is the AMI, Ubuntu AMI, and we would like to create uh, t2.small, which is, uh, uh, you know, two GB RAM. And then this is the security firewall rule, right? So we have already selected port number 22 and then port number 8080, as you can see here. Okay, and this is the storage volume, right? Okay, perfect. I think everything looks good and then go ahead and then click on launch instance. So this should be able to create a two EC2 instance, instances we have selected, right? So click on view all instances. So it might take a few seconds. There you go. Can you all see here? So right now it is in the process of uh, creating those EC2 instances. So while they're all coming up, uh, you can move the cursor over here. Let's say you want to name or rename this as Jenkins. Go ahead and then do that. And the same thing, let's say you want to go ahead and then rename Tomcat. You can go ahead and then rename to Tomcat and then click on save. So that's it, right? So now our EC2 instances are up and running. Now we need to actually connect to it. So how do you connect to your EC2 instance? There are many ways you can actually connect, but let me show you a couple of options. So click on this. Let's say you want to connect to Jenkins EC2 instance, click on this and then click on connect. So now as you can see here, there are four different options, right? Uh, you know, this is like one way of connecting or you can also connect using session manager or you can connect using SSH client. That is what we are going to use, okay? or EC2 serial console. I, I never used it, but let's go with the SSH client. So how are you going to connect? So you need to have a SSH client. So in our case, uh, since I'm using MacBook, I'm going to use iTerm. So iTerm is one of the SSH client. Okay. So let me also make sure I keep it like this. Okay. So type PWD, so make sure you are in the downloads directory. Let me actually close. Let me show you one more time. Let me open up iTerm. Okay, so type PWD, this will tell you which directory you are in. So right now I'm here, but uh, you know, if you remember where we downloaded the key, the keys got downloaded into downloads directory and this is the key, right? And, and we can actually see if you just say LS minus AL and then provide the key name. So this clearly tells you that this is the key, right? But if you see here, this has read and write access. But if you look at here, we have to make sure that our key is not publicly viewable, correct? And this step is needed only in MacBook. You don't have to do this step in a Windows machine. So let me click on this link, go ahead and then execute that command and then type ls minus al. There you go, you see it now? Now your key is just what? Read only, right? Perfect. And then the way we are going to connect to our EC2 instance is by executing this command. So if you see here, we are we want SSH and this is the key name we would like to use. And this is the username. And this is the public DNS name of that EC2 instance. Okay, so go ahead and then copy this link and then paste it here, make sure you are in the downloads directory. So we are in the downloads directory. So paste it and then click on enter and then type yes. It is asking, are you sure you wanna continue connecting? Type yes and then enter. There you go. See here? So now we are actually connected to our Jenkins EC2 instance. So that is what we have selected, okay? So that's it guys, you know, that's how you would uh, create a new EC2 instance and then connect to that EC2 instance from your local machine. Thank you for watching this video.